views are really nice. There's the seats. This is so cool. There's the entrance, gate A. Also, the baseball field isn't far away from this at all, too. So yeah, it's not far. There's the pro shop. Also, the college of the place here, that's by the Panthers. This is going to be fun. There's the other pro shop I believe. Uh, yeah, the stadium is really cool. Good view from the top. Here's inside the pro shop. Last up. the other top view of the stadium. There's inside the stadium right there. Photos of the players. Right here's inside. There's all the stats and the players. Here's the field from the view. There's the field. Oh, that's cool. Right, here's all the tables and stuff. There's the Jersey Warden. All the dates players were. In the comment section, comment your favorite Pittsburgh Steelers player. Here's the all the Super Bowl Super Bowl awards. And that's not nice true. a day on a game day. It's just for the ticket and the room. 
they're none available. They own those rooms between a six year or a 10 year contract. So the building sold out. The highest this is security club. system in the NFL has stated. A lot of people don't know once everybody's in this building and the traffic has died down, the city will cordon off around the building down near the casino, up near the ballpark. They will not allow anything that has like a white or any kind of van, panel bit. They won't allow anything in this area. They don't care what they're here for. They won't let anything close to this building with 68,000 people in it. So a lot of people don't know their own space. We have Rotunda, which is just a fast people mover. We get people in and out of the building and they're in each corner of the building. Anywhere you see a sign, they're paying a lot of money for their new The field was just uncovered a couple days ago. There's the logo. They share the facility with the Steelers, so inside the standard. I think it looks really good on the wall. And does they it just redid that. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> they didn't install just an x-ray room, even though the door says x-ray room. They actually installed an imaging center. Oh, so oh, these, yeah, guys, yeah. these guys know so fast how bad an injury is and they don't have to go anywhere to find anything out. One thing we do ask in the locker room is that you don't step on the one This one's not so much, but don't step on the one on the carpet. The guys don't step on it. It's just bad, bad, bad. We got bad, 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 bad. Unlike the locker room where their names are on their lockers, every time these players are gone from a game, the equipment manager comes out and takes all their main plates down because people decide to take them for souvenirs. Mm -hmm. And he gets real tired of constantly ordering. Mm -hmm. ordering. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I asked him to put the numbers up on a you know, piece of paper, anything, sticker, but they haven't done it. But I'll show you how to find your favorite player if you want to find it. So yeah, we ask that you don't step on the logo just because. A lot of people that come to the tour, and I tour people from all over the world, and they go to different stadiums and that, they're like, oh, this team has couches and pool tables. These guys don't want couches, pool tables, no foo-foo, and you'll see. What you see is exactly what they want. And they're only here eight times a year. Must be. The yellow, red, and blue is pole, iron, and scrap metal. 
the three elements of making steals. So if you want to know who's blockers what, because they take the name plates off, and if you step in, one's nice, stand on the other side. Stand the other and you look up, this is number four. It goes off and it's the team. So okay. this is number nine. This one has your numbers of Ben Cool. Oh. No number. Nobody's in it. Teddy's not in it. Teddy's down there somewhere. I don't think his number's even on the locker, but yeah. Welcome to Steeler Locker. Coach Mullen and all the coaches doing the radio there. Very simple. Where's Pekin? What? Where's Pekin? What number is he? What number is he? There you go. Six. What number is Pekin? What? What number is Pekin? I don't know. Here comes Tomlin's hat. Every time you get the chair, you get it. You can tell when you want to name all of them. Yeah, and have the championship. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. He's been collecting, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 This is your interactive part. <laughs> Watch the chairs go. Fall. So when these guys are dressed and ready to play, they kneel around the Steelers and they this say their prayers. Do you know what number uh, George Pekin is? George Pekin. Do you know what his locker is? I haven't seen it yet. It might be over there. I might just not remember. Uh, Offense, defense, and defense. Well, it's not the way. Yeah, it's not the way. It's not the way. I think this is George Pickens.
Telling you when it's time to get to the store. Here's one of the Super Bowl that they won. XL. There's some of the players over there. Over here is Joe Green and Ernie Sautner, Steelers players number 75 and number 70. And here's all the jerseys over here, like the awards and stuff, the display. There's Lloyd, 95. Gildan Parker. Uh, I don't know how to say 40 name. 43's name. 86 is Ward. And um, that I don't know. Um, all the other stuff. Play NFL Player of the Year. Miller Light. Jer Jerome Bettis. Guys, if you like that, subscribe to the video, subscribe to me, like and share the video, and see you.